Some non-traditional students are celebrating after earning a certificate through Northeastern State University's River Hawks Scholars Program. The program is specifically designed for students with mild to moderate intellectual disabilities. Tune is Oklahoma's Dene Quesada talk with one of the graduates. The program gives students with developmental delays a chance to attend college and reach their goals just like everyone else. People have a good attitude, be honest, be organized, be happy and be smart. I got them. Sarah Perrick is among the first students to graduate from the Riverhawks Scholar Program at NSU. It's a four-year inclusive college program. The program began in 2018 as a partnership with Lead Learn Live, a nonprofit helping connect students with intellectual disabilities to NSU after high school. The program focuses on academics, independent living, social skills, and career development. Most parents that have young children with disabilities don't think that college is a possibility. But Perrick is proving anything is possible when you dream big and are determined. If you have a really fun campus life at NSU, because it's my favorite experience, and thank you for this class opportunity. Saturday, she was among the first cohort of graduates to cross the stage to receive a certificate of community integration with a focus in history. I'm really proud of myself. I really am. And so is her family. I, I was in tears Saturday as she received her diploma from President Turner because it had been her dream for so long. Justin Chase, director of the program, says students in the program share the same aspirations as other students. They want to uh, be gainfully employed in a job or a career of their choice, and they want to be able to live independently. Sarah, I am so proud of you. I'm so always. Proud. Always. I'm so proud of you. I always do, Mom. I love you. I love you, and I, I didn't know it. Sarah says she would like to work with incoming college students similar to Riverhawks Scholar Program. Chase says they currently have 14 students in the program and they'll add five freshmen this fall. In studio, Jeanette Quesada, 2 News, Oklahoma.